Hello everyone, Argzy here. Welcome back to Deer Creek. We have moved forward some time. We are into April, which means we are into corn planting season, which was our next milestone. Uh, and we've got $272,000 in the account and no more debt. Now, if you didn't catch the live stream on the weekend, we sold all our dry corn and all our barley and made over half a million dollars off that. In fact, it was almost closer to $600,000. We had a $290,000 loan, which we have cleared entirely, and we're still sitting there with $272,000 in the account. So uh, that was a very, very successful episode and a very successful sale from all our product from last season. We still have half a million litres of soybean sitting in the bins as well, uh, waiting till June when the price on those rises. But that's not our worry today. Today our focus is getting soybeans planted into this very, very weedy field. Now we do already have our one planter, we've got the 1775, but I've figured we've got some money, let's go and treat ourselves to a new planter. We're not going to get the same one though, we are going to look at something slightly different. So we're going to jump into the 8R and uh, head on down to the shop and go and pick up what we have ordered and uh, get that back here and make a start on some planting. Alright so we're down here at the dealer, now let's take a look at the planter we are having delivered and uh, get it all configured to how we want to have it. So we are picking ourselves up a John Deere 1720 16 row 30 inch planter 2012 model here. Now this was recently released by JHHG Modding on their Facebook page as a PC only download. Uh, I expect it's probably going to be submitted to ModHub uh, as has been their way and this was obviously one that was on ModHub for FS19. We've got it all configured how we want it. We've gone for the liquid fertilizer set there. We've gone for the uh, max merge extensions on the seed boxes. Uh, we've got some weights on the wings. We've gone for no-till row cleaners, disc closing system on the back and we have put a trailer hitch in there as well. So uh, that looks pretty nice. It is a little bit narrower than our other planter. It is uh, The other one's a 24 row planter. This is obviously only a 16. So a little bit different there. It will make it a little bit harder with course play, but we'll work our way through that when we get to it. But it is a darn sight cheaper. 86,000 versus about 320 or 330,000 to get the matching planter that we already have. So uh, this will still leave us a good amount of change for spending on other things if we decide. So we'll get this bought and we'll go around and get it hooked up to the tractor. All right, so we'll just get backed in there, hook that up and we are all good to go. Now it is nice and wide. Uh, we've just driven down here. I have turned traffic back on. So we're gonna have a little bit of fun negotiating the main road, uh, but we should be fine. At least we're in control. If it was auto drive, it would be a different story. But uh, we will make our way back down to the farm and get things all set up. All right, we're just pulling up here to the intersection. We've got an open space to our left. Just take care turning out here to our right. And uh, we are going to have to be incredibly careful. These wings do overhang quite a way. So we'll just have to watch power poles one side, traffic on the other. It's close. But uh, I think we're just going to make it back. We should be fine. So we'll... Uh, get back to the yard and start getting some seed and fertilizer into this. All right we're back here at the farm now I do have in here somewhere I think is this a fertilizer tote it's fertilizer 780 liters there uh, we've got herbicide in the trailer there's no seed down the back it's got plenty of dry fertilizer we do have some seed over here now having a look at the seed and fertilizer calculator let's just have a look actually what we still have in this planter uh, 2,500 litres of seed and about 2,000 litres of liquid fertiliser. So we've got some in there. Now let's just take a quick look at what we might need to get corn planted into field one. Alright, so field one, we're going to need 14,000 litres of fertiliser. Or actually more, with liquid fertiliser is 18,500 litres. So we're going to have to sort something out for that. Seeds, field number one for corn, is only 2,500 litres, so we're definitely going to have enough seed. We've got enough just in the one planter. So that's not going to be an issue. Our liquid fertiliser is going to be the problem. So I think we might see if we can pump the last little bit of herbicide out of the gooseneck, and uh, we'll take that down to the co-op and get it topped up, and use that to supply both the planters and get them topped up as well. So uh, we'll go grab the pickup and see what we can organise. 
All right, we've just pumped out. There was 270 odd litres. You see, we've just pumped it out into the tote there next to the shed. So we'll uh, take this down to the co-op and get it filled up with liquid fertilizer. We're obviously going to need a couple of loads. We, uh, I think, we get 9,000 litres into this tank. So two of those plus the little bit we've already got should be enough to get this field all done. So we'll uh, go down and get this topped up. So we're down here next to our fill points and we want to get our liquid fertilizer into there. So there we are, that is filling and filling at a very good rate which is nice to see, half full already. So we'll get this topped up. We're uh, chilling through the money though, it's not the cheapest product is it? No, not too bad, eight and a half thousand dollars. Bear in mind we did spend eighty thousand plus on a planter. Uh, but eight thousand litres, so that will be a good start to getting the field planted and underway. Obviously we're going to have to uh, fill up the planters as we work across the field. I can't remember what the capacity on the fertiliser is for either of them. So we'll just have to see how far we get before we need to top them up. Well, let's get back to the yard. We'll pull the second planter out and get them both up and going. Alright, I'm not sure exactly where the fill trigger is for the tanks on the planter here. We'll get the pump turned on the trailer. Let's go and hop in here into the tractor, see if we can get it topped up, no we're not quite in the right spot yet, in fact we can probably have to do it from the trailer if I remember correctly from last season, I wonder if it's across the back, it's uh, just back up in here otherwise we might have to get it unfolded, wings out and uh, get it filled up that way, no I'm not getting a trigger or anything just yet for that fertiliser, so we'll get it unfolded and uh, see if that might give us the solution. So I've tried every way possible with the trailer and couldn't get a trigger but if we uh, bring the tote out here, the one we had in the shed, and drive forward and see we can fill up out of that. Now I know that's been an issue with a couple of mods where you can't fill up using the uh, tanks or trailers or anything like that. You do have to fill up using a tote so hopefully that's something that might get fixed in the future. Uh, a bit of a shame if that's how it's going to work but uh, let's leave that there for now we'll get the truck out of the way and uh, we'll get the other planter pulled out now we need to get into the seed that is in there as well get this planter filled up so we'll uh, keep going with getting this all set up always some teething problems with new equipment though isn't there wouldn't be a uh, wouldn't be a farm without those issues all right we've got the bigger planter out as well now i seem to recall when we were in the field we had to bring this right back in here somewhere to find the trigger for the fertilizer Still doesn't seem to be anything there. I was adamant we managed to fill this last time using the uh, using the trailer. Perhaps we didn't. After trying everything, I've just realised it was full. <laughs> it had 2,271 litres of fertiliser in it before, and that is 100% full. So, of course, it wasn't going to try. It wasn't going to fill it up at all. You can see from our wheel tracks around here, all the different ways we have tried to use the trailer to fill things up. Uh, my last resort was just moving the tote in here and trying that out and uh, was then I realised we were 100% 100 full in the planter already so uh, that's not ideal. Anyhow, let's uh, we'll get the seed pulled out, we need to get some seed into just this planter, there should be enough in the, the other planter. So we'll get a uh, tote over here and get this topped up and then we'll actually be able to go and start doing some planting. So there we are, we have full fertilizer and full seed in this planter now, so we can get those covers closed off there and uh, we can go and make a start. Now I'm actually going to use the other planter to do the headlands, we're going to set that up on course play to run three headland passes and then we're going to set this planter up on a course play course as well, uh, but it'll run separately. So we'll kind of probably start one planter halfway across the field or something like that, I think that's going to be the best bet. And in fact we will probably drive one of them for a wee while anyhow and uh, just see how it goes in fact. We'll be driving that one. Give it a whirl, see how it goes. But let's go and get this set up and uh, we'll start running around the field. Now I did empty the totes out there, they were the ones that were in the trailer just because I was trying all sorts of things. So we'll get those pumped back into the trailer and uh, we'll be able to come when this one empties out of fertilizer and see if we can get it topped up or not. So a little bit of a messy start here but we'll get things sorted and it starts to get some corn planted which was the objective for today. So we're just going to get it turned on, we'll put it down and just make sure the planting and everything is working. There we go, that all looks very good for corn. So let's set up the course plate course now and get this tractor underway. 
All right, we're underway. First corn going in the ground. So that is all looking to working perfectly. Our fertilizer is being used and our seed is very slowly being used, which is good. So we'll leave this tractor running and we'll go and jump into the ADAR and go make a start with that. So we've come over to the other side of the field here in the 8R. I had just given a wonderful explanation of what we were doing and didn't have record running. So I'm going to go over that again. We've set up a GPS course using one of the long edges of the field over here because I know that the course play course the 8RX is running on is set up on that. Now I've also taken a little bit of a guess where we started and where we're going to finish because we know that the 8RX is doing three headland passes. So a little bit of inexact science or lead us to guessing exactly where to start and stop doesn't matter if we overlap a little bit obviously uh, we're not going to waste any seed as we found out in the last episode of planting that the seed doesn't get consumed on parts that have already been planted fertilizer on the other hand it does so i think that's probably going to be well and truly three passes of that bigger planter so we'll get spun around here and uh, start doing some up and down rows Now I hadn't set our width correctly on this planter I don't think, we're probably going to end up with a nice narrow little section here, see how we go. No, we're not too far off, there we are, we were very fortunate we are going to have a little bit, we'll tidy that up. But let's just carry on here and uh, we'll do some up and down rows, we'll do a little bit of a time lapse, keep an eye on the 8RX as it runs around and goes past, we obviously have to keep an eye actually on its fill level. Uh, surprised actually we don't have the fill level indicator down in the bottom left corner I um, wonder if I've turned that off or not there we go it was uh, it was hidden and now we can see it down there in the bottom left corner so we can keep an eye on our liquid fertilizer in the 8RX and make sure it doesn't run out or if it's getting close to running out we can go and get it filled up but let's just carry on here with a little bit of a time lapse and we will get this field planted as efficiently as we can so we'll catch you in a few minutes or so you're probably wondering what we're doing up here at the shop again now I was doing some research while we were planting and uh, had to come up with a better way to do the fertilizer and came up with these the Demco SideQuest 1000 now these will take 4,000 liters just about so if we can get these which will fit onto our uh, onto our tractor then they will go a long way to making things a lot better everything I've read says they should work with our 8R it is the SID modding version. These are the uh, SID modding Demco side quests. So we will give this a go. We're obviously not going with tracks, we are with wheels. So let's just have a look. I'm curious whether it's going to work with the jewels or not. That could be the sticking point. Uh, but it does have some adjustment there in the front. So we're just going to leave all that as standard. Let's buy this. $8,000. It is worth the gamble and see if it is going to work for us or not. All right, so the moment of truth. I'll just drive in here. Hoping, there we go, we're going to get a trigger and they are going to sit on there perfectly. A little bit snug against those outside jewels. In fact, incredibly snug against those outside jewels. If there's any way we can adjust the offset on those, doesn't look like it. So we may just uh, may make some tweaks to our wheel setup, uh, but that, that is looking like a good option to get more ground covered without having to fill up quite so often. Now we could do the same with the 8RX we could get the uh, exact rate tanks, the saddle tanks which sit on the uh, 
where do they sit? They sit up on the rear fenders of the tra tractor, up above the rear tracks. Uh, that could be an option there for those. But let's get back and try this out and see how we're going. Uh, we are down to 15% fertiliser in the ADRX, so that is going to need a top up when we get back as well. Let's see if we can get these filling up. And there we go, look at that. That is working beautifully. This is going to extend our range considerably on what we were able to do. Because uh, by the time we've got these completely full, we're going to be able to go a lot longer distance. So that's fantastic. Now I am going to just try and see if we can adjust the uh, tyre setup we have here. The wheels and get something that just looks a little bit better than what we've got at the moment. Just for that uh, immersion and realism, we are not looking too good as the setup we have at the moment. So let's try and get that tweaked. And there we go, that's much better. So we had 36 inch row crop tyres on, gone to a 30 inch setup, which is uh, obviously more compatible, one with the planter, and two with the uh, side carts. So we will get this hook back up and uh, we'll shoot out quickly. You can see we've just got the warning up there to say that the 8RX is out of fertiliser. So we'll go and uh, go and service that and get everything back underway. So there we go, we can get an overfill when it's winged out and from the trailer. I thought we did last time uh, and it was just me not realising that the tank was full. There we go, that is all emptied out. Now while we're down this end of the field we will just shoot over and get this uh, topped up with some more fertiliser because we are certainly going to need some more. Let's go and get this worker back going and uh, we'll be able to carry on moving, getting some more corn in the ground. There they go, they are all back underway, which is good. Right, let's go and get this topped up and uh, we're going to jump back in the other tractor and keep on going with our planting as well. Alright, so we've left the pickup running on auto drive to go and get topped up with the fertiliser. We didn't need to do that. So we are going to head back out here and uh, really put these side tanks to a bit of the test. This is, uh, I'm quite looking forward to this actually. This means we are just going to be able to keep on going. I think we've probably got not quite double the fertiliser that the 8RX does, but certainly we do have a good amount. So we will uh, crack into some more planting and keep things moving. Alright, well things are going very smoothly here now. We're not running out of fertiliser too quickly. In fact, uh, we've done about four passes and we've used 10% up, which is uh, very nice. The pickup has been to the co-op and topped up, so uh, they are back at the yard now with a full trailer. And uh, the 8RX is somewhere over in the over in the corner, over that way, and they have still got 65%, so they should make it at least around to the other side, and then they can start on their up and down rows. So, I think uh, we'll carry on here again. We'll put together a little bit of a montage. We might hire a worker to run this for a little bit, so we can get some shots of the 8RX as well, and carry on with the planting, and uh, we'll give you a bit of an update in a wee while.
Well, as we've been riding around there with the 8RX for a little bit and putting together that montage, both tractors are stationary, which is not ideal. Now, the 8R is out of fertilizer, so we're going to go over and get that one set up and going again first. And the 8RX is actually getting low on diesel, and uh, the course play worker has decided enough is enough. So, we're going to get this tractor over here sorted, then we'll have to go and pick up the uh, diesel trailer and get that topped up now i'm hoping we haven't actually tried this i wonder if we can fill these side bins all these uh side tanks with the trailer so we couldn't get the side tanks to fill out of the trailer either we have had to go and use the totes now this tractor's out of diesel as well i thought it was only the one but uh we're low on both so we are going to have to go and grab some diesel and come back over and fill both of these up 51 liters left there and we're also going to have to go down to the co-op and get some more of uh, more fertilizer. So I think what we might do, we might head back over, send this down to top up with fertilizer. We'll get the uh, little John Deere out and use that to bring the trailer over and get the diesel topped up so we can at least get these tractors up and moving again because uh, any downtime is not good. Although, looking across here, we don't have too much more of the field to go. We have made a decent chunk of it. So we'll... Uh, Set auto drive off here and we'll go and grab the tractor out and run down with that diesel trailer. Alright there we are hooked up and we'll just get some diesel put into here. We did buy 10,000 litres of diesel so uh, we've pretty quickly chewed through half of the funds we had at the start of the episode so just have to be mindful of that. We're not going to be able to go on a big spending spree although in saying that as soon as we have this crop planted the only other expense we should have will be any herbicide we need to put on there uh, but I am actually considering trying out a mechanical weeder on this field just for a change uh, we'll see how we go once we get to that but at least we do have all the soybeans in the bins we were talking about that earlier so we can get those sold in a couple of months time when the price is at its best all right we've got 2,000 litres that should just about do us quite a bit trigger on there I thought I'd just drive out of it right let's go and uh, get this First tractor topped up, we're going to get the 8R done and then we'll head back over to the 8RX. Alright there we go, we are getting some diesel into here now which is uh, nice. So let's bring up our course play and get ready to get started on there, nearest waypoint. That should be perfect. Should be able to turn the engine on. Let's back up a little bit, make sure we're still in the correct alignment where we want to be. We did get moved over a little bit when I was playing around with the totes and super strength. But there we go. It looks like we're in a pretty good spot, so we're going to get this tractor out of the way and uh, get back underway with the planting here. And in fact, we weren't even using course player for this one. This was working, running on a worker, so uh, we'll just get this all lowered down and press go for the worker and let them carry on. So that is uh, all go again. Right, we'll jump out and go and get some diesel put into the 8RX. There we go, the 8RX is back underway and moving, which is good. They actually had quite a bit of fertiliser, almost 50% left still, so it was really the fuel that was causing the problems there. But uh, we will still get that extra trailer load uh, from down at the co-op. It's probably already back at the yard, I don't even know where it is. So uh, we'll get back over here and carry on going. It's not going to take too much longer to get this field finished, which will be nice. Get all our crops planted again.
Well, we're just coming to the end of this pass, and I think we will stop this tractor and let the 8RX turn around and do the last bit. I think it's just a little bit too wide for this planter. Uh, we haven't quite had an exact parallel line between the two, between the planters, so we've ended up with a bit of a wedge, but that's alright. We'll uh, get it all tidied up and finished off, but we'll stop. Hopefully we can get to the end of the row here before the 8RX turns and crashes into us or anything silly like that. Going to be touch and go. We should be okay though. There we are. We are all good. So we'll just stop the worker there. In fact, we are just going to end up with a little bit there that's going to peter away. So we'll, we'll tidy this up, get rid of this wedge, and uh, let the ADRX can go to the other end of the field. And we'll be all done. Everything planted. A few little bits that we need to tidy up in a few corners. So we'll race around and do that as well. But for all intent purposes, this is it, done, corn all planted. All right, there we are, we have both the tractors back here and we are all finished our corn. So that has gone pretty smoothly actually. Uh, good couple of hours, a little bit more to get it all planted but there was a little bit of uh, mucking around with things, running down and getting some side tanks but uh, they were a very, very worthy purchase. Uh, they were a lifesaver really. We. Uh, Probably saved a lot of time not having to fill up fertilizer tanks by having those. So that was a good purchase and uh, eventually things got up and going very well. But uh, I'm going to go and give these a good clean off. I think they have earned it for the work they have done. But where does that leave us? Well this field, we're going to have a look at it. It should have, it's 100% fertilizer. It does, it does say weeds are growing and it does say it needs rolling. So Next time, I imagine we'll be taking care of some weeds and possibly getting this rolled. So that'll be good to be done. The wheat over in the other two fields is growing nicely. So once we are once we're through the weeding in this field, we'll probably be back to a harvest again, possibly selling some soybeans. So uh, keep an eye out for those coming soon. But as always, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that episode of Deer Creek, and I'll catch you in the next one.